you asked me the other day if I was gonna come. <laughs> he was like, we're having a little something for me at the pool. Can you be here? I was like, yeah, of course I'll be here, for sure. Um, but yeah, so we just wanna start off. We have a few people here to talk to, Huey. Um, so our first speaker, um, if we can have Tom Kraswitz, if you can come up. Tom is a former NCR coach, and he's the current Manasseh High School swim coach. Um, I think we all know Mr. Kraswitz. He's always here. Um, so we just want to end this. Perfect. Uh, thanks to the committee for giving uh, me the opportunity to say a few words. Um, it's a privilege and, and an honor to speak about Huey. Um, second, thanks for not making this a roast, uh, because there would not be any material to work with. I uh, was thinking back to my days with Huey as his coach. Um, I can't remember one time that he yelled, kill that third time when you weren't supposed to say anything, or when we counted down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. He was always on cue there. Um, as a matter of fact, he was probably one of the only eight nunners in summer swimming history who the coaches didn't need to go look for to report for his event. He was probably already up there ready to swim. Um, uh, this past week I reached out to a few people who were on the team uh, back when I was coaching um, and who he was swimming, uh, mainly to ask what they remembered most about him. Um, and I'm going back a ways here. Oh yeah. Um, to a person, uh, they all remembered him exactly as I did. Uh, he was a kid who had, first of all, great character. Um, secondly, he had determination and focus and drive uh, to do whatever he could to help the team. It didn't matter if it was the first place or whatever the last point scoring was, Huey was going to give his all to get what he could for the team. Um, today, I think they call that grit. Uh, and if you're making a grit poster, Huey's picture should be on it. All right, the proof shows in his multiple Ironmans, uh, a lifetime of nighttime, all-night swim marathons, um, and a coaching career that has lasted 25 seasons and counting. I just want to remind you that you're not uh, The most important thing about uh, the past 25 years is that Huey's done things the right way uh, while carrying on the tradition that he experienced as an NCR golfer. Uh, it's the same one that I had to be the pleasure of part of when I was swimming for the team and then attempted to continue as coach. Um, Huey has shared that for over a generation uh, with the swimmers in New Carrollton. Um, that's a special gift from a true team player. Uh, one of those traditions is the original and unique NCR cheer that has been around for at least 50 years. Um, I believe and you can check the Guinness Records book on this one, <laughs> that this means that Huey has said the phrase um zawa zawa more than any other team in the history. <laughs> but there's something more relevant about that cheer. About 10 years after I stopped coaching here, while reading the novel Little Big Man, I came across the, clo the closing line to our cheer, it is a good day to die. Um, I learned that it was said by the Cheyenne Warriors, who were about to go into battle to signify that they had lived and worked to their fullest. And so, if they died in battle, they would have no regrets. Well, I realized then that I had gotten that completely wrong. Um, because when we did the cheer, we actually pointed at the other team while we were saying it. Um, so in, in essence, if they, were, if they knew what was going on, it probably inspired them. And uh, maybe that's why we lost a couple of meets by 100 points. Um, uh, to this day, though, I'm haunted by the thought of the proud parents of that six-year-old girl who was at her first swim meet, watching her proudly as she pointed to the other team before the meet and said, it's a good day to die. Um, but what I did interpret correctly about that is I see how Huey embodies the true meaning of that line in everything that he's done. Uh, he's been a role model in all the best ways to NCR swimmers for a quarter of a century. Um, what I also know is if I had me a rooster and I put him on the fence, he'd cheer for Huey. Uh, 
Huey, the way you live and coach uh, makes me proud to call you a fellow, a fellow NCR Dolphin, a fellow Tomato Stag, um, and in general, a swim coach. Uh, thanks for all you have done for so many in the swimming community. Thank you, Tom. Coach K of Swimming.